What's up? I'm the Android, and if you haven't noticed, I'm dressed a little bit fancy in this video. Gasp! And you may be wondering why? Well, last night was my school sports banquet, where I received my fifth consecutive participation award. Yay! And like any banquet, for this one, you have to dress up. So, I don't dress up very often. I'm not a big hair and makeup aficionado. So I figured I would give you guys my tips how to dress up for someone who really doesn't care. First things first, you're going to need to shave your legs. This will give the appropriate effort of trying. But don't worry if you miss a few here. You don't want people to get their expectations up. You may feel an odd breeze now that your legs are exposed to the elements, so you can put sweatpants back on for the time being. Next, put on the appropriate monkey suit dress type object. Remove the sweatpants. Congratulations, you are now in clothes fit to leave the house in. Next, we move to hair and makeup. If your hair is short, you have two options for fancy hair. The little Dutch girl bob, or the curly, wavy, crunchy thing. Today, we're going to be doing the curly, wavy, crunchy thing. Start with a blank slate. Since you're obviously too lazy to actually wash your hair, just spray your head down with a spray bottle like a cat that just scratched the couch until you are both dripping cold, wet, and uncomfortable. Next, add a liberal amount of mousse to your hair. Ah, uh, yes, that kind of mousse. Add it to your hair and scrunch it around until you have the appearance of effort. Since for whatever reason the bangs are loners and do not want to curl with the rest of the hair, instead of trying to make them play nice, just pull them back into a braid or something. Next we move to makeup. Begin with the makeup palette you got from your grandma for Christmas and haven't used since. But beware, it may take some time to find and or open this. Next select the least next select the least hideous color of eyeshadow. Perhaps willing to match your dress? Apply to the upper eye region. I call this look the I'm not crazy, my mother just really wanted me to wear makeup look. Tone this down with some more subtle colors that match your pasty pale complexion. Smudge it around to get that cat eye smoky look. For the lips and blush, don't worry too much. Nobody will actually be able to see it in an hour anyways. So just do what feels right. Now move to nail polish. Oh look, some of that's still left. Score! Never mind. Now for accessories. You will need to detangle your only necklace. This may take some time, so be patient. And never mind, close enough. After selecting your earring, just continue to poke them through your ear until you are successful in stabbing yourself or until your ears bleed, whichever one comes first. They say shoes are a girl's best friend, which is why you have a closet full of shoes you don't actually wear. No need to break tradition today, just go for the black converse. Those go good with everything. Congrats, you now look super fierce while also saying, I'd rather be home watching Netflix. Rock that look, and don't forget the selfie!